I'm telling you, she has run away. Vitaly saw it yesterday. Yes, in a fancy car. Has your friend bolted? What's wrong with her? She's moping. She's all alone now. Leave me alone. Or what? Let's go. Why? Not why, where, if you don't want to come, Vanya. You can stay in the classroom. Princess Frog. Episode 3. Buns. Is this the place where they teach you how to make buns? Yes. Uncle Yura teaches us. Shall we go in? Yes. Hold the door. Lead way. We're still closed. Uncle Yura, it's us. We came to learn. Can we stay? Wow, what a crowd. Of course you can stay. Yura, are you coming? I have a couple of free periods. We could go to the movies. Looks like there will be no movies for us today. Well, take off your coats, wash up, and go to the kitchen. Yes. Great. Okay, the gingerbread will come out of the oven in 20 minutes. Meanwhile, we'll make the icing. What do we need for white icing? In English? Eggs. And for chocolate icing? Sugar and cocoa. Good job. In English. Well done. The buns are great. I thought you had left. I did? I needed to do something. It was so cool. Will we go on another field trip? We'll see. So delicious. What are you wearing? I borrowed these from Katia. You've burned my skin, haven't you? Give me more, Masha. Hold this. I'll get it inside. Okay. I was in Pavlovsk. Congratulations. You said you collected mom from there. And? They only have one hospital, and mom had never been admitted there, let alone die there. I've double-checked. No Hannah Kateva or Hannah Shirovska is on the list. Can I stay with you for a while? Will you feed the chicks? Why is she rude to you? No, quite the opposite. She was very polite. Why didn't you bring her back, as I asked? What was I supposed to do? I told her everything you asked me to say. She was relentless. She asked me to take her to Pavlovsk and told me to go back. She said she'd take it from there. Strange, so she wasn't rude, you say? Maybe it's her grandma's influence. She is good at that. I had a chance to meet her. She never forgave me for Hena. She kept blaming me for not taking care of her. But I was doing everything for them. Trying to secure their future. Yes, I lived in the office. Sari, pull in here. Ola is coming back today. I need to buy her flowers. Shall I go get them? No, thanks. I've got it. Hi. 
Stein. We have received fresh carnations and chrysanthemums just yesterday. They will last long. They are too basic. Roses. Then, do you need a bog bouquet? Yes, a big one. For a maternity ward. What makes you think that? What's this? Flowers. They didn't have henna's lilies, so I thought. Bringing a flower pot. What about the nurses, the doctors? Are you going to tear off a leaf for each of them? I didn't know I was supposed to. Of course. How would she know? You are never around. So you never know anything. Give it to me, henna. Mom, you came after all. Of course. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Do you have a name already? Ira, after my mom. I hope you don't mind. Of course not. I'm all for it. Do you want to hold her? Let me. You're doing it all wrong. Give her to me. Can I talk to you for a minute? I'll be right back. Okay. See, we have this tradition. We tell the mother to come back to us for the second baby. I don't think this is a good time. It is a good time, in your case. I don't advise you to come back. Why is that? Your wife didn't want me to tell you. She was worried you would be upset. The delivery was complicated with extensive blood loss. We had to operate to save her and the baby. You mean she can't have another baby? She can't if you don't want to put her life at risk. Well, shall we go? Let's go. Let's go. Is everything okay? Sure. Mom, wait for us. Roses, a big bouquet, usually men buy them on special occasions. You know what, I'll take this one. Good choice. Let's go. The attention that counts, Hannah didn't get enough of it. I won't make this mistake again. I know she hurt you, but I'm worried. Something is very wrong. All these trips in the middle of nowhere. Kostya, you know her? She must have changed her mind long ago, but she will never start this conversation. No, of course not now. Not right now, whenever you have a chance, okay? I'll text you the address. Hi, how was the flight? How was your trip? I missed you. I couldn't tell. Is it that bad? I didn't want to come without flowers. You didn't have to. Are you still mad at me for not coming with you? Let's go buy you new flowers. Ihor, it's not about the flowers. Rags! Masha, what's wrong? Everything is so beautiful. It's a bit scary. You weren't scared of trying my clothes at home, were you? How is the store different? But it is different. Don't be scared. We are celebrating today. Celebrating what? Turning you into a princess. I don't know. Miss, we are closed for audit. Oh, the sign on the door says different. We're open only for customers. That's who we are. All right. 
What do you want to buy? Please pack our purchases. I also want something sparkly. Oh no, I've had enough sparkles. You showed them their place. Whom? The saleswomen. Yes, Katya, I'm busy. I told you, no, I'm not almost done. I can't today. I have work to do. Yes, I have work outside the school. You too. Mm -hmm. Bye. Where is your cool phone? I sold it. What's wrong with this one? Even Patia's is nicer. Come on. At least no one will call you a frog anymore. Will you? No, your royal highness. I wouldn't dare. So, how much? Good evening, Ola. How was your trip? Okay, did you want something? Yes, I wanted to talk to you about the marriage contract. I thought I whore, and I have closed this subject once and for all. You see, I believe that in your case a marriage contract is absolutely necessary. Necessary? To whom? To you, first and foremost. It's better to secure your position early on. I had cases where a wealthy client successfully annulled their short-term marriage and even was able to sue their spouse for their property. First of all, I love my husband, and I have no plans to divorce him. Second, I have virtually nothing to sue me for. Man proposes, and God disposes. So I strongly recommend that you sign the contract. Otherwise, you and Ihor will sue me for my studio. I'm glad you understand me so well. So, shall we sign it? Listen. Why don't we try to come to an agreement? Mr. Zurovsky would kill me. That's not what I meant. Right. He cried Mutaborai and immediately became human again, first of all. He settled his accounts with the wizard. What about the princess? He promised to marry her. Have patience, princess. He needs to defeat the villain first. Okay. And when he kissed her, the owl feathers fell on the ground. And she became a human girl, packed up her things, and went far away from this idiot. That would be a great ending. They should tell kids the truth. She's asleep. How should I get her to her room? I don't want to wake her. Masha, you can't wake her up with a drumroll? She has always been like this. How long is always? All her life. All her life, you said you had adopted her. It's a long story. Her parents had abandoned her, so I was able to become her foster parent. It cost me. I felt such pity for her. She was so small and quiet, not at all like you. Me? You'd yell all night so loud that all the street could hear. I told Hannah, 
It's her nature. And I was right. Do you mean you babysat me? I used to. Your dad brought you two here once, said he was busy at work. And Hannah needed help. He could have saved his efforts. My help wasn't good enough for her. Did she want to do everything her way? She was stubborn like you. Or you. Me? No. I had to call your father to come take you back. He wasn't in much of a hurry, though. Why do you hate him so much? What is there to like? Hannah had talent. She could have become someone. Help people. But she married him. And what did she become? No one, a housekeeper. He loved her, he loves me too. Really? Is that why you're still here? Is it love? First his wife runs away, and now you. Okay. Good night. Olha, where are you going? To a party with my girlfriends. You just came back. I thought we'd spend some time together. I'm sorry. Why don't I come with you? Let me just get dressed. No? What for? You don't like nightclubs. No, why? There will be girl talks, gossiping about you guys. I'd love to hear it. Believe me, you wouldn't. Why? Listen, order some food, watch a movie, you like that. Being alone. Peace and quiet. Bye. Don't wait up. Hi. Everyone, why are you guys so sad? We've just come back from a field trip. The kids are happy. Next time we'll go to the park. How fascinating. I think we all should introduce interactive classes into our schedule. The way they make you teach is dull and boring. Why did you stop? Please go on and dying to know what someone I gave a job to is saying behind my back. And I also gave you a second chance. As far as I remember, it wasn't quite like that, don't worry, though, I can say it to your face. You can't lock up the kids inside the school and make them cram up the textbooks, this is in the Soviet Union. Are you going to instruct me, who has been the principal for 10 years, on teaching? Sir, the kids are bored in class, our academic performance is one of the lowest in the area, is that what you've achieved in 10 years? The teachers should be excited about their work, too. Listen to me. My dear, I will decide what we teach here and how we do it. You won't stay here much longer, as for your unauthorized outings with the students. It's called kidnapping. I will talk to the parents and tell them how you put their kids at risk. Yura, let's go. It's time to go to class. In a minute, excuse me. Sir, instead of telling Irina off, you should praise her. She is right about the academic performance. That's what you should talk to the parents about. Also, about what you're going to do to help the kids get into any college. Also, you should tell the men us where the new equipment for the buffets and the computers for the CS class you promised a year ago. A champion. Yura. I give you a warning for violating rules and regulations as for you. Irina, you will pay for everything you have done here, Maria. I'm waiting for the report. Did you have two? Are you happy now, Irina? The leaves are falling one by one. Summer is over, school is begun. Did I do well? I learned it for you. What do I have to show, really? Maybe the fact that kids are excited about classes. What? Nothing. You did well, Masha. Good job. 
I always wanted to be an actress to perform for an audience. Come on, smile. Please. We'll celebrate the day of the school soon. That's right. Masha, I know what we'll do and we'll put the principal in his place while we're at it. Okay, we'll get the kids together and start rehearsing. It will be awesome. Yoram, why did you interfere? Do you want problems? Don't you know how vindictive he is? I don't give a damn. Why didn't you support Ira? She is your friend, and you know she was right. Because I know who she really is. Then tell me, too. I'm not telling you anything. I don't want to talk about her. I was going to ask. You never said if you would come to my party on the day of the school. Kadia, what's the rush? There will be many guests. I want to plan everything out. You know I hate crowds. It's okay. I can cancel the party and just be with you. What's going on there? Who cares, Yura? What do you say? Yura! Katya, later. Later. No, no, don't do that. Let me go. What's going on here? <laughs> Uncle Yura, we're preparing a play for the day of the school. I'll be the frog princess. Will you help us? Yes, please. You see, we need Koshki the wizard, and none of the kids wants to play him. I could take him, but I'm already playing the narrator, and also the kids say I'm not scary. And I am? No, you aren't either, but you are intimidating. I don't know. Please. We really need a Koshki. Okay, fine, but as a Koshki, I have some suggestions. Do you mind? Go ahead. Koshki is taking the princess away from her beloved Prince Ivan. Why isn't she trying to fight him? She's been taken away, right? From someone she cares about. So? Okay, look. <laughs> This is how the princess should be fighting, okay? Okay. When is the show scheduled? In a week. I think that, in addition to parents and teachers, we should invite people who can change something for our school. I've underestimated you. Well, now you've seen almost everything. How about a cup of tea? The computer class, if memory serves, we allotted money for it last year, and everything you have here is ancient. But we're waiting for the delivery in about a month. You know how it is trying to get the best for the kids. It always takes time. Okay, Vanya, do you remember your lines? I guess so. I'll be here to help you if you need it. Okay. Okay. Miss Serena, my bow is broken. Did you ask Uncle Yura to fix it? He is getting the frog into her skin. You mean Masha. Okay, we don't have time for it. Just make do with what you have. Pretend it's not broken. People will understand. The guests from the ministry, was it you? The principal is in shock. Haven't you warned him? Are they here? Did they get a tour? You fool. We'll all get fired. Okay, my friends, off you go. Do you want to help? No. Then go take your seat in the audience. How is the frog doing? Still breathing. Well, am I scary? Very scary. <laughs> this is our biology class. It's exemplary. Take a look. By the way, your buffet looks really depressing. You've just had a remodeling. Not yet, but it's in the plans. You know these contractors. They are so unreliable. They don't care about kids or adults. They just want their money. 
I will be straight with you. This isn't what we expected to see. You should have given us a heads up. We'd agree on a date. Prepare for your visit. Finished the remodeling in one week. We were invited to see the play. So we decided to look around while we're at it. Speaking about the play, it's about to start. Let's go to the second floor. We've saved you seats in the front row. Let's go. Please take your seats here. Here. Hello. Congratulations on the day of the school. Today we will show you the play The Frog Princess and also what we've learned in our English class. I hope you will welcome us in a faraway land. In a faraway kingdom there was a king. Hello. I'm king. I have uh, three sons. School number one. I found your debt. Here are the egg and the needle. The evil was defeated. The prince saved his princess, and they lived long and happily, and once more. Just a minute of your attention. I want to thank Miss Arena for making our old dream come true by organizing this function. There are some refreshments. We didn't think you would come so early, but... You did such a good job. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Guys, what do you say? Cool. I'm glad I got rid of the frog costume. It's uncomfortable being a frog. Miss Irina, we liked the show so much. Thanks. The principal liked it, too. Really? Congratulations. Let's take a picture together. Let's. Yes. Come here. Stand closer together. Olia, all together. Smile. Everyone smiles. She always liked to be the center of attention. Excuse me. What? Ira, you were looking at her right. I'm Kostia. Yura, a big fan of Ira's performances. Kostia, Katia, Ira's friend. Padruga Ira. Ira told me a lot about you. Really? Of course. Kostia is Ira's fiancé. Didn't she tell you? It's so good that you came. Let's surprise Ira. Let's. Yura. Okay, go get changed. No, I should go. Come on. Ira. Yes. Surprise. Kostya. I'll leave you guys to catch up. <laughs> so now you're an animator. 
You've got talent. What are you doing here? What do you mean? I'm here to save you. What do you want from me? As I said, I'm here to save you, babes. I'm not your babes. What kind of nickname is it? You used to like it. I never liked it. Has my father sent you? It's not about your father. I just feel pity for you. Pity? Did you pity me before? I've been here for a while. Before, you wouldn't answer my calls. I kept calling you because I was worried. You, you really think it was serious between me and Ola? <laughs> that bitch set me up. She knew you would run to me in tears and took advantage. I was shocked. Two, I didn't get it. I missed you, by the way. Go home, Kostya. To Ola or whoever, I don't care. Good luck. Look at yourself. Frog. She says, darling, this isn't sexy. And the rabbit says, I'm here to apologize. It's because he's a loser. Pessimists learn from their mistakes and optimists from their successes. Have you closed that deal? Finally, it was an incredibly difficult one. Did you see how Olha is treating them? She can do it. What about you? We all have our own jobs. Listen. How is Kostya doing? He went to see Ira and never got back to me. He didn't call me, either. Your husband is difficult to deal with. He doesn't know what a compromise is. Well, he does, but he needs special treatment by a woman. Is it that hard to call and say, we're fine? Come on. Maybe they don't have time for it. When Ola and you are alone, do you feel like talking to someone else? Right, Alexei. You can't imagine how hard we worked for this deal. We've closed it, haven't we? And thanks to whom, it wouldn't happen without me. I know him, he'd tell them to go to hell and brood at home. <laughs> My friends, I have a toast. Let's drink to talent. <laughs> Where are we going? What kind of question is this? We're going home. Don't you have our schedule? Yes, sorry. No problem, idiot. Olha, stop humiliating my employees. This is rude, after all. I'm sorry. I didn't know you cared about your driver more than you care about me. You have been taking too much liberties lately. Don't insult me in front of my business partners at work. You are just my employee. Is that clear? I thought I was your wife. That's why I expect you to support me. Support? Do you want a divorce? What do you mean? Oh God, do you think I don't see anything? You want a stupid cow who will say yes to anything? Like your darling first wife. Don't you dare talk about Hannah like this.
Masha, Masha, why did you want to come with me? Grandma must be worried sick. I'm worried for Uncle Yura. He won't answer his phone. Call again. I've tried a dozen times. Keep trying until he answers. Ira. Masha, Masha, say something. Masha, where are you, Masha? Are you okay? I think I'll have a bump on my forehead. Will you be okay waiting here? Good. Ira? Ira, don't fall asleep. Ira, do you hear me? Look at me, you're going to be okay. Ira, do you hear me? I know. Can you two wait till we come home? Someone here is developing a bump on her forehead. Masha, come on, help me. Open the door. You're going to be okay. Get in the front. Nothing serious. They both got away with a scratch. We can leave them here overnight. I feel all right. Quiet. Talk when you're talked to. Are you sure there's no concussion? I'm sure, your granddaughters were lucky, an abrasion and a bruise, they got off light. How are you feeling? I'm fine. Why don't I drive them home? Can you discharge them? Irina Kostyantinovna, on your responsibility. Yes, sure, thank you, Yura. So that's why you were at the cemetery and not there. My wife and I had a huge fight in the car. The road was icy, the car skidded, and when I woke up, they were gone. How old was she? Nasha was six. The worst part is that I don't even remember what we were fighting about. I'm so sorry. When I saw you guys in that car, something exploded inside me. I couldn't bear it if you... I would lose my mind. Masha fell asleep even before she had a chance to get into her pajamas. Here, apply this to the wound. Let me. Thanks. What about Katia? What about her? There is nothing between us. We went on a couple of dates, but... She wanted more. But I didn't want it.
I wish it were New Year already. Have some patience. Do you already know what you'll ask Father Frost for? Of course. Will you tell me? No, I can't. It won't work if I tell you. I promise I won't tell anyone. Okay, I'll give you a hint. It's not a thing or a toy, it's something magical. God, where will he find something magical? We're doing the homework. Masha, get ready to go home. Get your coat and wait in the hall. Okay, what happened? I got a call from social services this morning. What happened? They want to take Masha from me. Take her away? Why? They got a complaint about her life being at risk with a statement from the hospital. Wait, I don't understand. She only got a bruise. Even I was hurt worse. Who cares if you were hurt worse? You can barely drive. Why? Why did you take her with you? So now it's my fault. Whose fault is it? I know it was the principal who filed the complaint. I don't think so. He has enough on his plate. I used to have a successful business here, and he was my partner. No, it wasn't anything shady. I just buy equipment and store at a store I was renting at the school. I don't think it was his only source of income. Bribes from the parent and all that. It's big money. Our principal has expensive tastes. I don't understand who filed the complaint. Irina Kostji Antonovna, what difference does it make a concerned citizen? It's a serious accusation, and we can't just let it go if the child's life and health are under threat. Social services have the right to extract her. Masha was in a car accident caused by your granddaughter. But no one got hurt. Thank God for that. What if someone did? When my family died, I went away for a couple years. When I came back, I decided I wanted something simple and reliable. So I opened the bakery and got a job at the school. Can you guarantee it won't happen again? I didn't think so, so pack her bags. Please, don't take me to the orphanage. Please. <laughs>